I think the Governor's Ball is probably the biggest party in America, and I think it's the only place where you see great movies and uh, watch a great show and get great food afterwards. Well, for the 1,600 people who are invited. But I think a lot of the dishes we do, actually people could do at home. And you know, if you go to our website, you can find recipes and everything, because dishes like the chicken pot pie or the tortellinis and so on, you can do that in advance, and then just bake it uh, when you're ready to eat. I think the way we set it up on s smaller plates, so we don't serve one big dish, you have a lot of small plates, so you get all different kind of flavor, like Asian flavor, we're gonna have the chinois lobster, for example, we're gonna have uh, uh, spago dishes like the tortellinis, we have dishes from Cut, which is uh, our great steak from Snake River Farm, so you have little bites from a lot of different things, and not to speak all the little appetizers we have here from a big seafood buffet, sushi buffet and then we have all our little salads like uh, like you can see here like the tuna in a can the cones with caviar and chopped tuna and uh, we have great salads so it's really an amazing menu and Sherry does the great desserts right here the whole concept is that there is so many different flavors you know it's not just one dish it's like going and trying 10 restaurants in one night. The wines that will be served Oscar night are from Sterling Vineyards and we have the spectacular 2009 Reserve Napa Valley Chardonnay and the 2007 Reserve Napa Valley Cabernet Sauv. This is our seventh time pouring wines for the Oscars and for us it's about finding a wine that is the best of the best. So we're making two specialty cocktails. One is called the Patron Gold Cosmopolitan and the other is called the Ultimate Vodka Blue Sunrise. And this year the theme of the Academy is fresh juices, so we're using a lot of organic California juice. Um, the cocktail that we're showing uh, right now starts with 10 karat gold uh, rim around the top of the glass. And it's topped off with two California blackberries. This year it's called the Chandelier Bowl because we have the largest chandelier that exists in the entire world, even bigger than the one in the Guinness Book of Records. It is a chandelier, it's 120 feet by 70 feet. It's six, it's elliptical chandelier, six tiered, 1,500 feet of LED lights, which will change throughout the entire evening. It mirrors the floor. This is gonna be the design of the envelope. We're keeping this historic and iconic. PricewaterhouseCoopers is the, the, the accounting firm that tabulates all the winners. It's a great Mission Impossible story to cover because when we create these, we create one for each nominee. We do three sets. Each partner has one and they keep one locked away in case there's a, an emergency. Gets delivered to them, they do the tabulations in a little room, four people, they stuff the winner's cards and those who aren't the winners, those cards get destroyed so they don't wind up on eBay or being auctioned you know, for somebody to profit from. Well, this year it's about color. Uh, it's about aubergine, and we're spiking that great deep purple with a chartreuse, a very hot, hot uh, uh, green. And so it's, 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 a, it's a new combination. It's a great combination. I think it's a very sexy combination, and it, it really works. It, it, it lets us use flowers we've never been able to use before.